Ano ba ang journey ng isang aplikante para maging isang Emirates cabin crew? This is the first of the three videos about this topic. We will be talking about an Emirates cabin crew's journey from application, from final assessment, to finally getting the golden email of acceptance. Ati Mae will be sharing all her experiences and of course, my guest style! My name is Mae Marise and in this channel, we talk about my sister's life as a flight attendant, her life lessons, and so much more. And if you like contents like this, please hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell. Batchmate of Ati May, so she's been flying for 12 years today. And counting and, and counting. counting. Si Ono, Ati May, and I are from Bukit Noon. Si Ati Grace, naman, I from Baguio. Yeah. 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 to be in your video. Yes, yes. beauty queen from Baguio. Yes, so from Gandan yun. Yes, kami okay. yun de. <laughs> so kami ni Ati Pure Pinay, si Ati Grace, half Japanese. Yes, I'm going to teach you all. Ah, teach you all. So, Ate Mia, ano ba pag-uusapan natin? Very interesting because a lot of people have been asking, ano ba yung journey ng isang cabin crew? So, each journey is quite different. That's why mas maganda talaga na dalawa yung maririnig nyo para malaman nyo na, ah, iba't iba din pala. Pero, isa pa rin ang patutubuhan. Yes. Which is to finally become an Emirates cabin crew. Interesting na ko kasi I personally knew your story. Kaya Ate Grace, hindi ko, hindi ko pa alam. Yes. Can you share in one word your experience to becoming a cabin crew? Exciting but it wasn't easy. Which we're gonna talk about it in detail. Ah, but it's all worth it. Oh. Okay. Not easy but worth, worth it. it. Yes. Yes. Kisa niyo naman yung mga mukha nila. Di ba worth it? Well maintained! Oh. <laughs> For me, one word would be swerve. Because the same as life, you know, it's not a one-way path. You will go through adjustments and you would have to change directions at one point. So definitely swerve. And the same as Grace, I will be telling you more later why it is swerving in the end. No, how can I excite the one you said so go, especially some of my aspiring flight attendants join. Why do you apply? Was it online? My pinasa ba kayo paper, by your data? No, by your is it 12 years ago by your data? <laughs> questions kung saan pwede mag-apply but Emirates has their own website. So yung ginawa ko, pumunta ako sa website, cabin crew section and then apply online. Mm -hmm. And then two days later, I was contacted by an agency in the Philippines na link ng Emirates which was IPAMS. I don't know, nandiyan pa ba yung IPAMS? Mo? Yes, I think they're still there. So mm -hmm. an agency contacted me to report to their office. Eh, nasa ba kung ka? Contact agad? Mine was different. See, every flight attendant has a different journey. Oh. Ako man is I applied online as well, like yours in the website. But I also dropped off my CV in Malate because that time I was in Manila. Parang na bagalan ako sa process. Hey, buti nga ikaw ano yung kinota ka agad after oh. two, two days. <laughs> it took them a while to get get back to me, tapos nakita ko, ang daming mga ibang applicants sa ibang lahi. So parang, alam mo yung kinabahan ako. Oh. Kasi I wasn't that young anymore when I applied this job. Ba, I know, really? yeah. I'm already 12 years flying. I was already in my late, late 20s. So, do the math. <laughs> so, kaya ako nagpunta ng Dubai. Ah. So, I've done mine in a two different ways. Okay, so, wow. So, nag-apply na ako sa Pinas na screen na ako rich test. Pero that time, may schedule na rin ako papunta ng Dubai. Dito na ako sa Dubai nag-apply, which is the redirection na. Huh? Nag-apply ka online and then nag-submit ka sa, sa application. Ng application. Ng data. <laughs> ng bio data. Bio data. Bio data. Bio data. Bio data sa, sa IPAMS. Yes. And then, may schedule ka na, which was supposed to be parang bakasyon lang. Yes, okay. that's right. Okay, that's so right. pumunta ka sa Dubai, and then how did you do it? How did you tell them na nasa Dubai ka na? Sa Dubai, sakto may naka-schedule na assessment. Okay, uh, open, open day. Open day. Oh, yes. Sinabi ko na may uh, pending application ako, ito yung, di ba may reference number? Right, right, right. So, dala ko pa rin yung CV, uh, I mean, bio day. <laughs> Which is a hotel pa rin yung assessment. That time, syempre, ang dami, di ba? Ang dami. Nakaka-intimidate kasi, di ba? Baglahe. Baglahe. Ang gaganda. Ang maganda ka rin naman. Ang 
tatang ka. Tapos basta intimidating talaga yung ano. Tapos ang dami. Apat na lang kami uh, final interview. It was a whole process. Wow. So mas oh, mabilis okay. kung nandito, nung nandito ka sa Dubai. That was before. Mm -hmm. Which ngayon, iba na yata yung procedure. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm curious, when you said when you were in the Philippines, nag-apply ka online and then you waited for IPUBs, when you said na matagal, gano'n patagal yung span na yun? Hindi katulad mo na two days agad may reply. Mm -hmm. Basta ang tagal walang reply na email or siguro na init lang ako kasi since may ano rin ako, I'm, I'm ano, scheduled to come to Dubai. Right, right. So parang nainip din ako na bakit ako wala pang reply. Mm -hmm. e yung kasabay ko na taga Cebu, meron na siyang reply na rejected okay. na siya. So if I got it right mga ate, so pwede ka palang mag-online tsaka pwede ka mag-CV drop-off or mag-attend ng isang open day. Yes. Correct. Yes. Or, so it's either if you're in the Philippines or nandito ka sa Dubai. Yes. Or whichever country na yes. nag-open day yes. sila. Yes. Oh. Yes. We need to take note that kung saan sila nag open day na country, I think now is they're concentrating on the speakers. Baga, if for example, sa Philippines, ang kailangan nila is Tagalog speaker. Right. So, taga, yung mga Tagalog speakers oh. talaga. Kasi during our time, sabi ko nga na intimidate ako na nag-apply sa iPods, is marami akong foreigners na kasabay. Yeah, yeah. May mga Koreans kami. Exactly! Oh. Oh. They're young and pretty and oh, basta. <laughs> yung mga nasa Korean novelas na nag Oh, oh, oh. Sila, oh, oh. Sila, sila. Sila nila. Oh, oh. Sabi, oh my gosh, wala akong pag-asa dito. Pero tingnan mo. Pero tingnan mo dahi. Apat lang tayo, kumalis din ng time. Anyway, kukuha niya. Oh. Okay. For you to be called for the assessment, ano ba yung requirements na dapat meron ka? Kau, oh, kasi sa iPhones ka talaga na sa iPhones. Iba yung sa iPhones eh, medyo mahintin talaga but, sila doon eh. Yeah. Yeah. Pero before that, what is iPhones ba lang? For, for the viewers to know, what is iPhones? iPhones is a manpower agency. So based in the Philippines to sila, and what they do is they really filter out prospects for their clients. Yung big clients na such as Emirates, we they have Qatar, Etihad, Gulf Air, I think? Yes, yes, Gulf Air as well. Oh, yeah. So that's what they do. That's what iPums is. So if I'm in the Philippines, tapos gusto ko mag-apply to be a flight attendant, pwede akong pumunta ng iPums yes, sa job yes, place yeah. there? Yes, yeah. yes. Mostly Middle East uh, Airlines. Mm -hmm. uh, you could go to iPums or you could do online registration. But the good thing is if you go to iPums, yung selection mo of airlines marami. Yes. Because, alam ba, mayroon kang makikita doon, oh, pwede ako mag-submit pala sa Qatar, pwede ako mag-submit dito, ganyan-ganyan. No. Mm -hmm. Or I consider rin yung magsasabi kung saan yung may vacancy, mm -hmm. di ba? Sino mm -hmm. magsasuggest na, oh, wala dito, pero we can uh, put your application here. Yes. Diba? Yes. Uh, if dadalo ka ng iPums, make sure na marami ka ng dalang uh, yes. 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 drop, 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 na lang. Pwede tayo. Balik tayo. So, ano ba yung requirements to be called for an assessment for Emirates? Mm -hmm. Resume, that's for one. So, your resume must be polished dapat check mo talaga yung mga grammars mo, you know, yung details mo. Secondly, you should have a full-length photo. Makita mo rin kung ano yung mga specifications online. Uh, during our time, it was only two photos. But now, it's different. Parang may casual na. Uh, 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 kasi I've asked the ano, yung mga previews na yung mga bagong tanggap hmm. lang, tinanong sila uh, na it was different. They were required for photos. They have a casual picture, whole body, skinny jeans, and a uh, black shirt. And then, uh, may half body, black shirt na nakaluba yung buhok. Aside from the whole body na naka-formal and then yung, ano, yung formal na parang passport. In Philippines kasi they are very straight when it comes to screening. It doesn't matter talaga yung college graduate. Mm. But when you apply here, at saka pag sa online naman makikita mo na lang uh, grade 12. Graduate yes. of grade 12. High school graduate. High school. Yeah. Oo, but that's in UK. That's a high school graduate of UK and US. But in Philippines kasi, pag sinabing grade 12, wala pa tayo nun. Mm. Second year college na yun. Recently lang naman kasi na-introduce yung K-12. Right. Diba? Yeah. Alam na, alam ko kasi. Yeah. <laughs> may tinan nyo lang kung ano. The first batch ng K-12. So I know talaga. IPAMs are very strict talaga. Yes, mm. yes. Tinitignan talaga nila yung CV. So if you have great records, then you're already at an advantage. Yeah. Which IPAMs, I think, is just doing their job as well. Kasi they are being hard the company to screen the applicants, yes, yes, so right. they're just doing their job. Over the time, nag-iiba yung requirements ng Emirates. If you're an aspirant um, Emirates cabin crew, always check the website. So, yung mga sinabi ni ate, dapat 21 years old ka, you need to have a high school diploma. Dapat din invest on your photos, invest in your smile. Ganyan yun naman, hindi pa talaga yung smile ng mga Emirates cabin crew. Oo, ano? Ay, baka dahil sa red lipstick. Nadala si red lipstick. Yes. Or maganda lang talaga smile. Na-practice na, kasi 12 years na pa. Kahit na. Kahit tulog sila guys. Kahit na puyat ka, kailangan mo umiti. Correct. Kasama yun sa uniform. Diba? Yes, yes. 
check the website every time to be updated sa mga requirements nila. So in your case ate, tinawagan ka ng IPAPS na to be invited sa assessment. So yung confirmation na yun, does it mean tanggap ka na, cabin crew ka na, or what does that mean? Sinabi ko kanina, nag-apply ako online, two days later, IPAMS texted me and called me and said I should report to their office. Mm -hmm. So when I went there, nag-submit ako, hiningi nila ulit yung mga requirements. So I had to give it to them and then they assist me. So chinek nila muna ako. So pina arms reach ako and then pina tingnan yung mga pet lot ko, kung may mga scars ako, tiningnan yung legs ko, yung chinek din yung tattoos ko if meron ba. So it was just an initial assessment from IPAMS itself. Mm -hmm. And then, after that, I had to wait for a couple of days again for them to get back to me and say, you know what, okay, you are in now for the cabin crew assessment for Emirates. Okay. Spams is parang filter talaga siya. Oh, okay. Para worth it yung time ng mga HR representatives ng Emirates. Uh. So, IPAMS does it for them. Halimbawa, natanggap, meron na silang number. Yung HR representative or yung recruiter ng Emirates lumilipad yun from Dubai, lumilipad sa Pilipinas and that's the formal assessment na. Oh my! Yung mga recruiters na to, are they Filipino or mga foreigners din? Mm -hmm. In your case, ano ba yung sa'yo? Hindi, they are very pretty. Ang mm -hmm. hot nila talaga. <laughs> Yung isa hindi ko makalimutan yung ang ganda niya, curly pa talaga yung buhok niya. Wow. They're stunning talaga. Mm. Ibang they're, lahi. They're foreigners. In your case naman, Ate Grace, kasi dito kasi Dubai nag-apply, oh, di ba? Mine was all a uh, whole day process. Mm -hmm. But nagdaan din ako sa IPAMS yung sinasabi ni May na ano, screening na rich test, tattoo test, and then uh, yung checking lahat. Pati ba eyes? I forgot. Oh, oh, may kasama nyo. Before our time, at saka IPAMS strict nga, mm -hmm. uh, yung vision mo, uh, chinect din, tapos din pal. Yung procedure sa akin is buong araw. We started at 7 and we finished at 6 in the evening. That is the Emirates assessment na? That is the Emirates assessment. Hanggang mm -hmm. ano na, final interview na yun. Okay. So, so did it matter at Grace na meron kang application na with iPAMS? May Mas reference na. number ba yun na pinagay ka uh -oh. sa, sa HR recruiters ng Emirates? Oh, ito, naka-apply na ako uh -oh. sa Pinas. Uh -oh. Sinabi ko naman, naging ayos ako na mayroon akong pending application online and ito yung reference number ko. Siyempre, at that time, dalawa na ako rin kasi hindi ko during the assessment. By data. Oh, yes. <laughs> we still call it by data during our time. Oh my gosh, so luma. But still, I went through the whole process talaga na assessment. Oh. May minention si Grace kanina regarding the teeth. I remember now, when I actually went to IPAMS, nakabraces ako. Mm -hmm. Right? So, when I submitted my documents, chinect nila ako, reach test and all, yung tattoo test. Sinabihan ako, okay, remove your braces. And then, once you do that, we'll keep in touch with you again. So, tinanggal ko yung braces ko, actually, bumalik pa ako sa kanila. Sabi ko, Sir Elmer, tinanggal ko yung braces ko. Sabi niya, okay, hold on, then we'll contact you kung ano na yung result. And then, when they contacted me, Yun na, siguro a span of one week Ambilis or something ka. like that. Oh, a span of one week when they told me, okay, you got into the assessment, ito yung date for the Emirates assessment. Wow! Wow! Okay, I'm curious now, yung sa mga pictures mo, nagka-braces ka, may braces ka sa pictures yes. mo? Yes, oo. Oh, oh. Yung sinabmit ko na photos <laughs> nung time na may braces ako. Oh. Oh, oh. So when I submitted it to them, kaya tinignan nila ako may braces kaya you have to remove it and then you come back. So sa initial assessment, nalaman natin na Ate May and Ate Grace did two different things. So si Ate May, nag-apply siya sa IPAMS and then saka siya tinawagan for an Emirates HR recruitment na assessment. Si Ate Grace naman, she took a different route. So nag-apply siya sa IPAMS. Pero dahil sa gigil niya, pumunta siya ng Dubai. Maraming pera si Magat! <laughs> yes! Maraming pera! Pumunta siya ng Dubai and she applied directly with Emirates. So mabilis yung recruitment niya, yung na-mention niya, it was just one day kasi nga wala ng agency, wala ng IPAMS involved. However, hindi pa nagtatapos doon. So yung nakwento ni Ate May and ni Ate Grace was just the initial assessment. Hindi pa tayo tapos! Yes. <laughs> Grabe to! Para Parang maagay na swerving. swerving. Yeah, yung sabi nga ni Ate May, di ba, nung first, it's a swerving journey. It's a yes. swerve journey. When we say about swerving, like say for example, in my case, when I went there, I was wearing braces. Diba? Mm. When they said you have to remove it, then you swerve. You remove your braces yes. because you really want it. You exactly. know? Yes. For Greece, naman, she couldn't wait anymore. So mm. instead of waiting in Manila, imagine she's from Baguio. So imagine if she has to travel every day or she waits uh. there, that's money spent as well. Diba? Yes. So when she said, you know what, might as well give it a try. I'll go to Dubai instead of waiting. So you're not real. Talaga. Oh. Talaga. Yeah, so it's not a one way path. 
you have to, you know, exactly. go left and right, sometimes up and down. Exactly, like that. yes. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's very inspiring. In all aspects in life, if you have that mindset, you can see it. You can see it. And it's all worth it. Yes. Right? Yes. 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 I mean, yes. in general, yes. you've been flying for 12 years, you met your uh, husband, wonderful husband, <laughs> uh, so cute na so it's all worth it. The journey was definitely. all worth it. Oh, yes. Yes. Hindi lang sa flying, hindi lang sa travel ka para all over the world na. Talaga worth it. Oh, right. Parang sinasabi ni Ate Grace, ah, anin ang career kung walang love life. <laughs> <laughs> it's all worth it. Kung uh, mo mo na yung, ano yung gusto mo talaga. Hmm. Tapos eventually, everything will fall in the right place na oh, right? That's true, that's true. That's nuggets of wisdom from Grace <laughs> Balik tayo naman sa assessment. Siyempre, marami kayo noon, di ba? Yes. Na-mention nyo nga na maraming mga Korean. How did you feel? Yung sabi ni Ate Grace na intimidated ako. Ano ba yung mindset nyo yung time na yun? Yung parang, oh, ang ganda niya. Paano mo ba na-overcome yung feeling na yun? Nung time na yun? Ako, ano, basta nakasa na lang talaga ng loob. <laughs> na if it's meant for you, it's meant for you. But you need to do your best as well. Right. Huwag ka lang aansa sa luck. Kailangan mo rin gawin yung part mo na gusto ko to eh. Let me do my best. And bahala na. Mm. Ikaw ba? For me, that time, interesting. I didn't even research. Ay, yung ibang applicants nag-research talaga ano ba yung possible questions, ano ba yung ganito. For me, I didn't. Nung pumunta ako, I had an empty mind of what's going to happen. Wala ako idea what is going to happen sa assessment. The voice that I was listening to was yung sa akin lang, which was, you have to stay in your lane, be the best that you can, you will do great. Whatever it is that you underwent sa life mo, yun lang yung ipakita mo sa kanila. That's all you need. There's so many noises, di ba Grace? Exactly. Na ganito gawin mo, ganito para pumasaka. If you do that, talagang mawawala ka. Which is good now kasi yung mga aspiring applicants, they already have uh, an idea because mm-hmm. we're already talking about now. Because mm-hmm. during our time, we don't no, know. Yes. Sinabi nga ni Grace, when she did it, ang dami, iba't ibang lahi. That's also the same as my case. Meron talaga mga Koreans. Yeah. May mga models, may mga artista. And they're very tall. They're very pretty. Like, and they're not provincial. Yes! They're from province. Yes! yes. Oh so, gosh. pagdating mo dun, makikita mo, oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> I, I even remember, Grace, no, yung sa akin talaga. When I did the assessment, yung unang pagpunta ko sa IPAMS, my skirt was maybe black. I was wearing black suit. Then, then white polo shirt. My skirt was maybe like 200 pesos. Fresh my graduate. Fresh blood. Oh, tapos yung ano ko, yung coat ko was like 300 pesos. It was like really, really cost effective. Mine was just bought in SM. Oh, oh, oh. I remember mine, I think, was blue. Oh, blue yung sa yung. Hindi siya po na lang, everyone's gonna wear black. Or so, para mag stand out, which is a very good idea. But, yeah, it was, it was bought in SM. Is that the, ano, yung hindi yung price ng suit? Yes. The way how you carry yourself. That's yeah. true, that's yeah. true, yeah. So I remember when I did it, it was a very hindi ko hindi mo kailangan na magsuot ng napakamahal. Exactly. Pero on the assessment day you will see them oh my gosh, one's wearing gray, one's wearing white, one's wearing all sorts of colors. So if you listen to those voices, yung pressure na oh my gosh, they're so pretty, you will really lose it because exactly. the tension there is really high. Yes. So that time, I think it helped on my case. I'll stay in my lane, I'll be the best that I can. Come what may, I will get out of this assessment hall with chins up because I know na ginawa ko yung best ko. Very inspiring. Oh. Parang may iyak ako ngayon. Hindi, parang nag-gugus ba? Sa akin tayo sa inyo. It really wasn't easy but it's all worth it. it. Yeah, mm. it's kasi ang dami. Di ba makikita? Oo. Oh, oh. Mga ex ko magkukwentuhan pa yun na, ay, I used to fly with this airline. Ha? Ito, crew to yes, na ibang airline. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. May nakasabay akong ganun. And then, di ba, sa hotel nga na-held ang assessment ballroom ng hotel. So, tarating talaga mga social. Oh. Samantalang tayo. Di ba? Di ba? Dati wala pa tayo mga LV, ano? <laughs> LV sila, mga oh. uh, high heels. But then again, it's how you present yourself. Yeah. Remember again that you need to think kung ano yung airline na ina mo, kung conservative ba. Correct. That's so you true. need to dress accordingly. If I got it right, being intimidated is a normal feeling pala. Oh, and the time na yun, like, yes. it's normal. So maybe you just have to embrace that feeling. Tapos, you concentrate your mindset. I-shift mo yung mindset mo na, I am blessed to be in this area. So wala na akong ibang gagawin pa to be just just the best version of myself. Exactly. Oh, yes. Kasi wala kang ibang ibibenta kundi sarili mo lang. Yes. Basta the mere fact na may invitation ka na doon, kapag ka na, pat yourself na, di ba? Kasi kaya ka pa, naman ka na dyan. Jai, tayo ka na lang dyan. Ibenta mo na sarili mo. In a good way naman. In a good way. Pahirap lang mga millennials, iba yung maintindihan. Iba yung 
pagkaintindi na ako, mahirap yan. <laughs> Appearance is very important. Ano ba yung mga, ano ba yung tip mo, Ate Grace, para during the assessment na parang, Wow, okay. Iba ako sa kanila. You need to dress according to the job that you want. Okay. So, mm -hmm. if you're applying in a corporate job, you need to dress na uh, ano, uh, formal talaga, na hindi yung sobrang iksi ng skirt. Na sobrang iksi ng skirt. So, yeah. Dress according to the job na gusto mo. And then, carry yourself in an appropriate manner. Uh, of course, carry yourself confident. Oh, yun uh, yun. Confidently, hindi ibig sabihin na sobrang ingay mo. Uh -oh. diba? Stop, Pabida ka na. <laughs> beauty queen na tindi naman. Mm -hmm. Pero, my class na Correct. 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 Mm -hmm. About you, Mary. Halimbawa, nakuha ka na sa assessment. Once you're in the hall, pagpasok mo pala, imagine na may mga cameras nang nanonood dyan. So your poise, your, the way you sit, the way you stand, you have to be careful of it na. Exactly. Diba? Yes. Just because walang assessor dyan, akala mo okay lang mag-slouch. No, you already have to sit the part, stand the part, act the part. As you present, sinabi ni Grace, you have to be confident. Mm -hmm. Not too loud, not to be iba yung confidence sa being boastful. Exactly. Right? So just be confident, knowing na I am presenting the best that I am. Again, yung appearance mo, as I said, Grace naka-blue, ako naka-black. It boils down to how neat are you? How well did you fix your hair? How well did you put on your makeup? Is it too loud? Is it too, you know, revealing ba talaga yung makeup mo? Or is it conservative, toned down? It will help, as sinabi din ni Grace kanina, if you also look into the area that you are applying Apply. for. Kasi Emirates speaks of elegance, yes. classic, and timelessness, you know? So, if you apply, for example, for Emirates, then your lipstick should not be purple or it should not be too pink. bright na bright pink talaga. Uh -huh. Diba? It should be toned down. Mm -hmm. And then your hair must be neatly tied. It yes. will really help a lot if you mm -hmm. check how their flight attendant look para ma-apply mo sa appearance mo pag tumating ka sa assess. So dress the part. You need to put in mind that you're gonna be ambassador of that certain brand. So you need to carry yourself accordingly. Yes. So that's for the appearance part. Yung mental naman, it's important because I tell you, there's high tension inside the assessment. But what will keep you going is if you remind yourself, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Okay lang to appreciate them, but stay in your lane. And always remember, whatever experience I have, kung ano man yung mga achievements ko, is mine to share to the recruiter. Yun yung kailangan mong ipaalam sa kanila para makita nila, ay, essential person to, dapat i-hire mm. namin siya. There's something different in her. Mm. Di ba? Mm. Ang qualities. Pero napansin ko din, alam mo Grace, usually, marami akong narinig, alam mo, um, dalawa kami, actually, yung best friend ko yung gustong gusto talagang mag-apply. Hindi uh, na lang ako. Uh, Oo, oh, and then siya yung nakuha. Siya yung nakuha. Oh, yes. Siya yung nakuha kasi yung oh isa, hindi nakuha. Ilang beses na? Si Ako din. Na. Oh, Ikaw oh. din? Yes, I heard so many stories oh. like this. Oh, oh. The reason why I'm sharing this is because the assessor will sense kung so, do you really desperate. want it this much? Oh, or are you, are you that desperate? Because oh. when you are desperate, like so desperate, makikita yun sa araw mo eh. Mm. You cannot let your personality shine anymore yes. because you tense mo na, na oh, because I want it so much. Whereas yung hinila lang, <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Oh, it's, oh, my, it's me. It's, it's me. me. Pakakita ko kung katanggapin niyo ako, oo, oh, pero kung hindi, okay, move on, apply ulit. Ganun yeah. lang. Kasi para pag nakikita ni recruiter na you are so desperate to get the job, ang pumapasok siguro, ako lang ah, pag mm -hmm. ako yung recruiter, ang pumapasok sa isip ni recruiter nun is, you just want the perks of the job. Yes. You just want to travel, but yes. you're not actually, yung being respo yung responsibility ng pagiging flight attendant, wala sa puso mo. Mm -hmm. So you also need to think of that before you apply for the job na, Isipin mo muna yung responsibilities and duties ng pagiging flight attendant before you think of the perks of the job. Pag nakita ni recruiter na desperate ka, of course, no, agad. Mm. Ikaw ba? Oh, Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Parang, right. parang sutor lang na parang desperado naman masyado to si kuya. Oh, oh, diba? Oh, diba? Diba? Sarili, this is me, you know, I like you, this is me, and this is what I can offer. If you don't like me, it's okay. Di ba parang, what? Oh, di ba? So, parang, ito na sa itong lalaki nito. Pero what if yung lalaki, kunin mo na. Oh, isa dapat ibahid din pala lalaki. Yes. 
just be yourself, guys. So, so, it out. so how do you be yourself when, especially when you're tense and you really want the job? Honestly, gusto mo talaga yung job. Oh. That's a good term. Shake it off. You release mo muna yung potential. So much insights from this video. Kasi nga, di ba, 12 years na sila, guys. Since we're talking about the assessment, syempre, meron tong mga frequently asked questions. During the assessment, ano ba yung mga scars? Yung mga scars sa kamay ko? Pwede ba? If may visible tattoos ako? Again, it depends on the airlines. Because some airlines are very strict. Emirates isn't that strict, okay? Say, for example, when I applied, may scars ako dito. Makita mo, may scars ako sa wrist. Oo. So, I showed it to them. I said, does it matter na meron akong scars? And then, the assessor said, no, oh, that's because fine. Because it's not in the face. Yes. It's not, it's not, it's not disturbing. Yes. So, okay lang. Yung scars mo in your limbs, they're not very strict about that. And then, tattoos naman, Grace. Uh, visible tattoos, one wearing the uniform is unacceptable. Okay, so, but if you're male, if male, you're male, as long as it's not in the neck and the arms. Mm -hmm. Kasi sa male kasi, ibang uniform nila. Dito sa long sleeves. Oh, so, kahit na meron kang arm tattoo dito, oh, pwede. Oh, oh. Magugulat ka, halimbawa sa flight, akala mo alinis-linis, tapos pag layover, yung bababa kasi kakain ka, yung magugulat ka na lang, <laughs> puno ng tattoo si yeah. Kuya. <laughs> yes. Oh. But for female, since this is our uniform, kung may tattoo ka dito, okay lang. Mas mo saan. <laughs> How about sa teeth naman? Dapat ba uh, skin talaga naka veneers talaga? As in perfect white? Ano ba yun dapat? Or at least dapat straight? What if may suki ako dyan sa gilid? Hindi na ba pwede? Sa eye pump si Papa Ayos. Kasi katulad niya naman sa bike ko, she was talagang stunning. Pina, pina Ayos. No That's, braces. Uh, no braces. Mm -hmm. yes. But actually back then, I remember pwedeng mag braces basta clear. Di mo yung braces. Alam mo yung ano? Uh, anong klaseng braces yung clear? Clear, clear, clear brackets. Clear, clear brackets. Oo. Oh, oh. Pwede. pwede ang ang alam ko, pwede hanggang uh, training college, hanggang aviation school. But di nga na ask you to remove before you start flying. Yes, you're right. You're pwede right. uniform. Uh, oh. So invest in your smile, guys. Yes. Tami natin na tutunan sa video na to. So we heard na ibat iba yun na pagdaanan ni Ati May and ni Ati Grace. Yung sabi ng ni Ati Grace, if you really want something, pursue your dream. Tasha ng Dubai para talaga mo pursue yung dream na yon. And sabi ni Ati May, you will be swerving along the way. So dapat flexible ka. If you feel intimidated, just remember, be yourself and shake it off. We are really happy to have Grace with us today. I mean, Grace, thank you, thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. So as in, we will be talking more about our cabin crew journey, of course, with Gracie. So we will be talking about kung nakuha ka na sa assessment process, ano ba yung pagdadaanan mo step by step? Gracie and I will be sharing that, of course, with MM. Magtatanong pa rin siya ng mga burning questions. And then, our third video naman, we will be talking about kung na-hire ka na, ano pa ba yung mga requirements? May tendency bang pwede ka pang hindi matanggap yes. kahit kinoferan ka na ng job. Pwede pa ba yun? So, we'll also talk about that. So, please stay tuned. If you like more videos like this, please click like, subscribe, and notification bell button. See you in our next video! Bye!